Are you guys old enough to remember when bringing KFC over to a friend's house wasn't an insult? <laughs> remember those heady days? I remember we used to bring KFC over to, my dad used to bring KFC over and be like, oh, it's gonna be a good day, you know what I mean? It's gonna be a good time. I'm gonna eat some coleslaw, it's gonna be fun. Now, somebody brings KFC over to your house, you'd be like, bro, my kids are here. <laughs> this is my home. This is where my family stay. I've never seen a, co a company take a fall from grace like KFC. What's happened to them? My brother-in-law takes the day off work before he eats KFC. It's like, no, I'm fine now, but I'm about to eat a two-piece. I will be in the fetal position tomorrow. And probably the day after that. The only time you'd eat KFC at this point is if you're holed up in a motel, banging a whore, smoking crack. Like, you know what? I really feel like a bucket of chicken right now. And it would be your biggest health mistake of the day. <laughs> People say that the junk food kills you after 20 years. KFC kills you today. It's poisonous right now. KFC has teamed up with Taco Bell to, I guess, murder the world. That must have been a weird stockholders meeting. Well, yeah, we're gonna kill everybody. That's our new motto. Instead of bringing you food when you order there, they should just come back and shoot you in the face. It's a cry for help. It's a cry I've made before, but it's a cry for help. I don't know, I like to see the way that they advertise uh, food to us. I, saw, I don't know if you guys have seen this ad. Coming into downtown Toronto, there's a billboard for cottage cheese. But and the weird thing about it is, is that it's not even a, uh, an ad for a, a particular type of cottage cheese. It's just for cottage cheese. Like, hey, bro, remember cottage cheese? It's pretty good. You going dancing tonight? What about a little cottage cheese after? Just try a little cottage cheese, no big deal. Have fun with it, you know what I mean? And cottage cheese was trying like a new extreme ad. They, I guess they, they were onto the like Mountain Dew or something. They were new uh, extreme ad for cottage cheese because it was a uh, cottage cheese and it was a uh, cottage cheese on a hamburger. And the tagline was cottage cheese, anything goes. I'm like, that's your anything goes? Cottage cheese is cottage cheese on a hamburger? I mean, I could, I could see if you had a couple of guys double teaming a chick eating cottage cheese off her back, like anything goes. Like, damn, cottage cheese just turned it up a notch. They're not playing games anymore. <laughs> or like a billboard of a, of a revolver and it has five bullets in him and the last one's cottage cheese. Anything goes. <laughs> cottage cheese. Pull the trigger, bro. Sometimes it's cottage cheese. <laughs> Anything goes. Mm, and I, uh, I, I find it's uh, weird where they, the way they advertise to you. I saw that they were advertised. I was in the drive through at Wendy's. You guys like Wendy's? Yeah, yeah, yeah Wendy's is uh, it's a little bit better than some of the fast food. You don't feel like you're going to die immediately, you know what I mean? <laughs> and I was, I was in the drive through and uh, they feel the need to keep advertising to you even when you're in the drive through Because, I mean, at this point, I've picked Wendy's. I'm blocked in by curbs. I have to take my plates off and run if I don't want Wendy's. <laughs> But they're still advertising to you, and the ad was, uh, try our chicken sandwich. Now tastier. I'm like, now tastier? You mean to tell me it wasn't as tasty as possible to begin with? I was giving 100% when I was eating this shit. I couldn't sleep that night thinking Wendy's been holding out on me. But that's when I realized I wish that I, instead of going into comedy, I went, in, I went to school so I could have been in that advertising meeting. When the guy said, well, have we tried making it tastier? <laughs> you could just wake up drunk in the meeting. Let's just make it tastier. I don't know. I wasn't listening. So, well, let's make it tastier. I don't know. I don't know about all this math. Let's just make it tastier. How do you make it tastier? Add cinnamon or some shit? <laughs> like the studies have shown if we just take the dog shit out of the sandwich, this thing's going to take off. We don't even know why we put it in there to begin with. Wendy's is a crazy whore, that's why. She's out of her mind. The original recipe was mostly dog shit. Uh, I, I, I saw an ad, uh, there's a particular type of pepper sauce. I'm, a, I'm a, my mother's Guyanese, uh, and there's a particular type of pepper sauce. I went in to uh, get it. 
And I could tell it was a Guyanese pepper sauce, but I looked at the label and the label said Rick's. And the way they were selling Rick's is uh, their tagline is that it's uh, known to Guyanese for over 50 years. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's a really ambiguous way to advertise oneself because I mean, they're not even saying that Guyanese people like the pepper sauce. <laughs> Just that they're aware of the existence of Rick for the last 50 years. Yeah, Rick, I know Rick, crazy bastard. Sleeps under a bridge, pisses in his pepper sauce. I know Rick. He's still alive, Rick. That's a great way to advertise yourself. Uh, Toronto Maple Leafs, known to play hockey, 100 years. <laughs> Any good? Well, everyone knows who we are and what we do. I would say we're famous. Keanu Reeves, known to act, 20 years now. Any good? Sure is famous. 